Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness from Breast Cancer Answers. You know, here at Breast Cancer Answers, we continue to have important questions asked. Let me take an opportunity to read another uh, two important questions to you. Dear Dr. Harness, what should I do if I don't want to lose more estrogen? Should I consider getting off anti-estrogen therapy? Well, before I answer that question, let me first take this opportunity to thank our sponsor, the company who developed the Breast Cancer Index, a test that may help women with estrogen receptor positive early stage breast cancer to decide with their physicians whether to end or extend anti-estrogen therapy after five years. As we look at this whole subject of anti-estrogen therapy, I think it's really important to remember the history of tamoxifen and anti-estrogen therapy. You may be surprised to know that it was in 1896 that Dr. George Betson realized that if you took the ovaries out of women with breast cancer, it would help in, uh, with their disease and prolong their survival. Now we have to fast forward to the mid-1960s when many scientists were working on uh, birth control pills and all sorts of different things, and tamoxifen was really developed in the mid-1960s. But following that, it took clinical trials in the 1970s and 80s to bring us to the point where we really realized that tamoxifen was the single most important drug ever developed in the whole war on breast cancer. And it was in the late 1990s that a trial study reported the important impact of tamoxifen on survival from breast cancer, uh, improving outcomes, all of the things that go with it. So the basis of doing anti-estrogen therapy in estrogen-positive patients is well-established and has an amazing history to bring us where we're at today. We not only have tamoxifen in premenopausal women, but we have aromatase inhibitors in postmenopausal women. Now, no woman I know wants to lose estrogen. On the other hand, no woman I know wants to die of estrogen receptor positive breast cancer by avoiding the use of these drugs despite their side effects. And yes, as I've said many times in breast cancer answers, there's no perfect solution, but the anti-estrogen therapies work. So it's important then to maintain the recommendations for a minimum of five years of anti-estrogen therapy for the treatment of both in situ as well as invasive of breast cancers. And as we've discussed here at Breast Cancer Answers, the Breast Cancer Index Test is another way of discovering who those patients are who will then benefit from extended therapy beyond five years. Should you go off your anti-hormone therapy? No. Do many women do that because they can't stand the side effects of their anti-estrogen therapy? The answer is yes. Actually, compliance with anti-hormonal therapy is one of the major problems that medical oncologists and people like myself deal with all the time. Anti-estrogen therapy works. Yes, you're being depleted of some of the effects of, of your estrogen for a short period of time, but that period of time is finite, and if it improves your survival, it's really important that you continue on the therapy. Well, I hope you find this video helpful, and as I wrap it up, let me take this opportunity to once again thank the company that developed the Breast Cancer Index. To find out more about your treatment options beyond your five, just click the button and download our free list of 15 questions to go through with your physician.